Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Monday 1st of October. I'm recording this video 6.30 in the evening New York time on Monday the 1st New York time. I still have the same two daily wave counts. There will be a link to charts in the text analysis for monthly charts because our first and our second daily wave counts here differ at the monthly chart level, they differ at cycle and grand super cycle degree. This one, the first wave count, sees a very rare expanding triangle unfolding and D must move beyond the end of B, so we have to see a new all-time high above 1576.09. This first chart, the main wave count for the first daily wave count, sees an extension within this third wave. Wave 3 green is extending, with 1, 2, 3, 4 now complete with a truncated 5th wave and 5 just begun. At 1508, wave 5 green would reach equality in length with wave 1 green. After that, we'll look out for a 4th wave correction and then more upwards movement to the end of the 3rd wave, another 4th wave correction and more upwards movement. So this one has a high probably a couple of months or so away with two more time-consuming fourth wave corrections to unfold on the way up, taking at least four days, if not a couple of weeks each. At this stage, we don't have confirmation that this correction here is over. We don't have a five up on the hourly chart. It looks most likely that it would be over though. If it did continue further as a rare triple combination, then it can't move into wave one green price territory Movement below 1426.68 at this stage wouldn't validate this wave count. There's an alternative way of looking at this, although it doesn't work for the Dow. It's possible for the S&P that the third wave at blue degree was over here, and then we've just seen the last fourth wave correction on the way up. Although the fifth wave for this alternate would expect to be extended. At 1607, C black in its entirety would reach equality in length with A black, and at 1619, wave 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 blue, and we'd have the second and the fourth pink waves on the way up, so it would look something like this, but more stretched out and taking longer in duration. But as I said, this one doesn't work for the Dow. Let's have a look at what happened on Monday on the hourly chart with a low for the fourth wave down here. Is this point down here. So this is a single zigzag, A, expanded flat for B, and a five wave impulse for C, ending in a truncation. After that we have one, two, and within three, one, two, and we need a strong third wave up tomorrow. This is the only hourly wave count which now that I can see at this stage fits on the hourly chart. My previous main hourly wave count was expecting A, B and C to move lower. That didn't happen, we just got upwards movement on Monday. So because this downwards movement subdivides perfectly as a five wave impulse and it's really difficult to see it as a three wave structure, this is an impulse, and I think this is a truncated fifth wave. So this is the start of a new upwards trend, and we have a couple of overlapping first and second waves, which, if I've got the analysis of this piece here right, indicates that tomorrow we should be seeing an increase in upwards momentum. Our short-term target, which would be expected to be reached in one to three days, is 1472 where wave 3 aqua will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 aqua. And tomorrow any further downwards movement, any further extension of the second wave correction can't move beyond the start of the first wave. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 1437.95. This green channel is the same one as I've drawn on the daily chart from 1 to 3 and a copy on 2 green, I've placed another parallel copy and pulled it out a little bit lower and this seems to be where we're finding support for downwards movement. 
that will probably continue to provide support as we move on the way up, although I'd be expecting the momentum of this third wave to bring price firmly back within this channel. The longer term target, the mid term target, remains exactly the same. This is our second daily wave count which looks at the possibility of a more common double flat or double combination at super cycle degree. The problem with this one and the reason why it's reduced to an even probability with the first is the length of primary B in relation to A is now longer than the expected 138% maximum. That doesn't invalidate this wave count, it just reduces the probability. We still need more upwards movement most likely though. The target for the midterm remains exactly the same. We still have 1, 2, 3, 4 and a fifth wave up to 1508. After that, this wave count expects a fourth wave correction and then more upwards movement to 1513 where wave C blue will reach 1.618 the length of wave A blue. Eventually, when we see movement below 1380.39, we'll have confirmation of a big trend change because that will take price back into what is wave 1 price territory for our first daily wave count. So downwards movement could not just be a fourth wave correction at blue degree and so the upwards movement, no matter how we see it, would have to be over. Alternatively, if we look at this piece of movement, the same as our first daily alternate wave count, it is possible for the S&P that we've had a big trend change. But this does not work with the Dow and also now it's increasingly unlikely because it doesn't work on the hourly chart as well. If this is a fourth wave correction, it's overlapped into wave 1 price territory and validating how I have this labelled. It's still possible maybe that we've got a leading diagonal unfolding, but the subdivisions just don't look right on the hourly chart, so it's increasingly unlikely we've had a trend change today. I'm expecting this week overall upwards movement, we have a short mid and long term target to work with and some close buy and validation points particularly on that hourly chart. I'm expecting an increase in upwards momentum tomorrow. If our hourly wave count is invalidated with downwards movement then my analysis of recent movement is incorrect and I would expect that that fourth wave correction is not over, it could be extending as a rarer triple. That's all for me today with your SMP analysis and I hope that members will have a really awesome weekend.